Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about the dark side of Leo. And yes, it does apply and pertain to the sun, moon, and ascendant. Well, anyway, people, uh, first thing I'll look at as far as any strong negative expression or manifestation of this sign. Well, the first thing is Leo can really be very extravagant. Don't get me wrong. They could be very magnanimous and generous people, be very giving with money or whatever it might be, their resources. But at the same time, Leo can often spend well above their means. And what happens is in a lot of cases, Leo can run into some kind of debt, run the credit card up, owe uh, creditors or people, I should say, people that collect debts. They may, uh, they may owe them exorbitant amount of funds because of this. Leo expects, I mean, they want to be treated like royalty, so Leo expects people to pay them on time and be punctual as far as that goes. But Leo can become incensed when they start getting bombarded with all these calls about people with credit card companies or whatever they might be, whatever they might, maybe it's money on loans or what have you that they, they, they could become very angry about this. They'll be like, well, why, is the, why are these people bothering me relentlessly and so on and so forth. So they really, it's kind of the way it works with them. Uh, it's like a double standard in a way. And you look at Leo as well. Another thing that comes to mind when, when I think of Leo and, and any strong negative tendencies or expression of the sign is that they really they can have very over excessive pride and if something happens where they're shown up in front of somebody or somebody outdoes them if it's in a competition and if they somehow in this in an instance they become demoralized or they feel really demeaned for some reason because of this they could go through a strong protracted periods of silence because of this and keep in mind that in a solar or natal chart the zodiac sign cancer often falls on the 12th house cusp so they could be doing this sulking this pouting in private in seclusion and solitude when people aren't around they don't want all of their pride will often prevent them from showing any kind of this, this strong sadness or despondency or what have you on the surface or showing it i should say in front of others but in private, they will, quote unquote, lick their wounds, so to speak. And another a dark side of Leo, too, when I look at this sign, it can be connected with just being just delusional. They really, I think what happens is Leo can enter, whether it's um, something in business or it could be a competition, it could be some recreational thing, competition, or doing something uh, in where they feel that they are automatically, they're going to be the king, there's no way they could lose. Basically, what I'm saying is it could be, uh, they could be guilty of overconfidence at times. Leo can be very arrogant and a very negative expression. And when they lose, they can't sometimes understand, well, why did this happen? There's no way. I could lose this thing and, and don't get me wrong a positive expression Leo could be very their confidence often propels them to great heights but at other times it could be overconfidence and arrogance it could wind up being to their detriment and another thing about Leo is that they could also be rather imperious and they can they may think that they have the sense of entitlement they could wind up wanting uh, to go somewhere being uh, go say going to somebody's place and somebody they haven't the first time they've been over there and they might want to be waited on hand and foot and and they really think that people are supposed to just cater to them and their their whim and every whim or what have you and this is something where i mean they just feel often that they're entitled to the special treatment uh even if they haven't really known the person that well and or they or it's the first time they've been over to this person's place or what have you so i mean those are some things to look at and another thing too they talk about delusions before and in really uh rare instances at an extreme 
um, cases with Leo and I very, of course, remote isolated cases with Leo, there can be delusion of grandeur. I think this would be more prominent with this sign uh, as opposed to the other zodiac signs. You know, I had a prominent family member that had a Leo son. His son sign was Leo. And I didn't have his time of birth, so I looked um, in his solar chart. He had a Mercury conjunct Neptune in the 12th house of mental emotional illness in the sign of Leo. So, I mean, right there, and keep in mind that Mercury is considered in its fall in Leo, and Mercury was also in its, uh, I guess you, you call its accidental detriment in the 12th house. So you had that going on, and he did have delusions of grandeur. He had a breakdown when he was very young, or was breakdown, unfortunately. So, and another thing, too, about Leo, as far as a dark side, is this ties into the extravagance that I was talking about before, that Leo can uh, succumb to compulsive gambling in a very negative expression of the sign, which is a dark side of the sign, I believe. And Leo's, I mean, there, there's just something in their nature that they really, there's something about speculation and gambling that really is very enticing uh, to them. Leo is not a sign that you really consider that, that really has a lot of forethought or a lot of premeditation or prudence in their actions. A lot of things, they're very similar to Aries in terms of the impulsiveness. They're very spontaneous. They see something that seem that they want to do that, that really that they think that they can get something um, that, that has a risk in it that could have a, a potential of a very big outcome. Leo is the type that will go for a lot faster than uh, any other sign, practically, I believe. And another thing, too, about Leo, as far as the dark side goes of this sign, is that really you, you look at it, this sign, and I think you look at uh, in a solar or natal chart, Pisces often falls on the eighth house cusp, and Pisces can be about deception and delusion, confusion. I think what happens in a lot of cases, Leo is known to be gullible. Now, what happens is being with Pisces being on the eighth house cusp in many instances, this uh, can really apply toward situations, perhaps, say, in a in something was shared resources it could be through say a significant other it could be a business arrangement they have with someone they might have this propensity to attract those kind of people that might be duplicitous in these dealings and, and sometimes on occasion leo might be this way as well i mean given that leo can be very extravagant in some cases leo say if they're in uh, a partnership situation they're in a, a close relationship with somebody uh, intimate relationship or they're in a say a, some kind of a business situation where that involves of course shared resources they might at times spend more money on the things that they shouldn't or taking more a higher percentage of what's available in funds to use on their needs or, or needs in the in the business they should not have things pertain to business that didn't need to be uh, uh, really paid for as far as the, as far as the money goes so it's really uh, using the funds toward things perhaps that it wasn't needed to be used for uh so those are some things to look at as far as the dark side of leo and uh one one last thing about leo is that I, i've noticed and this happened i've seen this with leos before that even though leo is not a sign that you would think would be vengeful or vindictive it's a sign with with so much pride it seems like when they make up their minds to walk away from someone from a close friendship or whatever it might be that that's pretty much it. in a lot of cases i have a friend that had leo ascendant and i thought we had some we had a trivial what i thought was rather insignificant and trivial um, argument about something it was something very insignificant i thought and what happened was I had said something to him in response to something he said on Facebook and he wound up, he blocked me and that was basically it. I tried to, to write him from some other source on his email or whatever it was 
but of course he never responded and it just uh, that that's another thing as far as the dark side of leo goes well anyway people that'll conclude this youtube astrological segment for the dark side of leo and stay tuned next time where i'll be talking about the dark side of virgo two things i want to get with you on before i head out firstly the stars may impel but do not compel and secondly never isolate any single astrological element aspect planetary placement position configuration influence or what have you and make an analysis of a person astrologically speaking based on this alone because astrologically speaking the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart and not just one until next time people stay well